everyone, my name is Nicole and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, definitely hit that subscribe button below. I do lots of budget-friendly home decor videos. So if that interests you, then definitely subscribe as well as hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. And if you're a returning subscriber, hello again. Definitely leave me a comment whether you're new or returning subscriber. I love talking to you guys. So for today's video, I'm gonna share with you how I styled some of my tiered trays. Two I made, which I will link down below, they're using Dollar Tree items. One I just scored from the Target Dollar Spot. I was super excited, I got the white tiered tray. And then I'm also gonna share with you how to make some really easy, fun wood bead garlands using mostly Dollar Tree items, as well as some items from Hobby Lobby. And I hope you enjoy. I'll also be showing you some items that I just listed in my Etsy shop. In case you don't know, I do have an Etsy. It is the Weeks Nest, just like it is here on YouTube. You just type it in though with no spaces. Etsy wouldn't let me add spaces for some reason. But I have some earrings, I have some decals, some home decor, stuff like that. So definitely check it out. I will leave my Etsy link down in the description box. And let's get into today's video. Okay, so for the first tier tray, I'm gonna show you how I styled the Target Dollar Spot white tiered tray. I was actually pleasantly surprised with the sturdiness of this for $5, but I felt like it needed some height. So this is my mom's, it is like a footed pedestal, it has like a cloche um, topper to it originally, I think it's for like desserts she used it for, but it was at my house, so I used it. Now for this I wanted to keep it like a mix of neutral with some pops of traditional color. And I love that this had the wood and like galvanized detail. So to complement the detail of the pedestal as well as the white in the tear tray, I decided to add a eucalyptus pick, I think that's from Walmart, some buffalo check pumpkins from the Target dollar spot, a cream sign from the Dollar Tree, and I loved how I added a orange pumpkin a light like seafoam green pumpkin to it and I just love the buffalo check. Now I did move this to my coffee bar and I added the home shadow box sign that you see on top. I will link that down below. I just made that sign super easy using some Target Dollar Spot scrapbook paper as well as the shadow box from Dollar Tree and I feel like it fits the tray perfectly and again adds that touch of neutral with traditional tones. On to tier tray number two. This is a tray that I made using a clearance Pier 1 imports charger which you see down below which I thought was beautiful and some Dollar Tree items. I used a rolling pin, some glass candlesticks, some pie pans. I will link this down in the description box below how I made this tear tray if you're interested. And what I like about it is that I can remove the charger on the bottom. And I like having the charger because it allows me to add more stuff to it, which is the fun of tear trays. Now I decided to go with the Halloween theme for this. Most of the stuff, sorry for being out of focus, most of the stuff on this tray is from the Dollar Tree. The florals are, the pumpkins, this would be garland, you will see briefly how I made that. And then the sign on the bottom that says, I put a spell on you, that is a decal that I made and I sell in my Etsy shop, which I will link down below. I also added some of the Dollar Tree and Target Dollar Spot pumpkins, both from this year and last year. And I love those porcelain witch's shoes. I got those last year at the Target Dollar Spot. I'm obsessed with them. They are so fun for Halloween and especially tiered trays show another option for the sign I have in the bottom of this tray. I do make this, it is in my Etsy shop below, but who doesn't love some pumpkin spice in the fall? I definitely do. <laughs> this tier tray is another tier tray that I've done previously on my channel. I used some Dollar Tree cookie pans and brownie pans, some wood pile pieces from Hobby Lobby. This was really inexpensive and easy to make and I like that it had a rectangular shape instead of the traditional round. I will link this down below in my description box if you're interested to see how I made this tray. But for this again, I wanted to do a combination of some, well, 
no, actually, I did more neutral tones for this. But I do like that the truck that I got from the Target Dollar Spot does have the orange pumpkins against the gray truck. So it does have a little bit of a pop of traditional, but I did go more neutral with this. This bless sign I also make, which is in my Etsy shop. And I'm really liking these cream and kind of sea foam light pastel pumpkins. I used to kind of pass with the pastel colors, as weird as that sounds, but I do like it, especially for fall, going with some eucalyptus, some black and white, and some traditional tones. I'm gonna show you some really easy wood bead garlands you can make using those Dollar Tree um, like wood cutouts that are good for banners. They're super easy to make and they're just so fun for tiered trays or really anywhere in your decor. Garland will be this witch hat. I just took one of these witch hats that came in a five pack from Dollar Tree. I painted it in a matte black finish and then I looped it with some Dollar Tree twine. Now taking some Dollar Tree beads and some 98 cent black spray paint from Walmart, I gave these puppies an attempt at spray painting. Anyone that's worked with the Dollar Tree wood beads knows that these are impossible to paint, as you can see. I don't know, I'm gonna go with it because you're not really gonna see it and it is Halloween, so they look spooky because they look horrible, but I'm just gonna go with it. They're just an accent bead. I'm also gonna take some orange beads as is from the Dollar Tree, as well as some wood beads that I got from Walmart. And like I said, I'm just gonna knot it onto the witch hat. And with, the, with wood beads, there really is no particular pattern. You can do whatever you like. Um, I do find that when I'm stringing beads with twine, I like to add a piece of scotch tape to the tip of the twine. It helps it from fraying and going through the beads so much easier. So that is a tip that I definitely suggest. So I wanted to do this garland as more of a loop. So once I had enough beads to the size that I wanted, I just went ahead and knotted that and then taking some orange twine from burlapfabric.com. I just had this on hand. You can use any twine that you want. I'm just gonna make like a basic tassel, take a picture that is the length that I want my tassel to be, wrap it around 10 times, cut it and then cut the bottom. And then I'm just gonna cinch the tassel and knot it before I attach it to the piece of twine that I'll be using to attach it to the loop that we made with the beads, if that makes sense. You can see what I'm doing here. But super easy, I like the pop of orange, I like a little bit of the black and orange beads from the Dollar Tree, and I like doing these loop garlands because you can add them on top of a glass jar, they're great for on top of a tiered tray, and they're super easy to make. Garland, I will show you this very quickly. I actually just made this in a previous project, which I will link down below, but I used one of those pumpkins that come in that pack I told you like this from Dollar Tree, and I did a faux galvanized look. I first painted it in a matte light gray, then taking Elephant, the Waverly acrylic paint, and some gunmetal paint from Nicole, things from AC Moore. I just took a sponge and layered and dabbed these to give it that kind of like hammered, um, galvanized look. If you're interested in a more detailed tutorial on how I painted this, like I said, I will link that video. I just did it a couple videos ago down below so you can see how I achieved this look. And then I'm gonna take this brown paint, any brown acrylic paint is fine. And I am just going to dab the edges of the pumpkin. Since I'm going for a galvanized look, I wanted to add the brown to almost make it look a bit rusted. And super simple, just did that. And again, I will link that video down in the description box. For a more non-traditional tassel, I'm taking this fabric from Hobby Lobby that I got in clearance a while ago, cut it into strips, and then I fold it over and cinch it with some twine and tie it to make a tassel. I love using fabric and items that you wouldn't usually expect to make something like a tassel. It just adds nice texture and a nice like pop to your decor and I love this print on this fabric. So I knew I, I wanted to use it as a tassel and I thought it really stood out against that faux galvanized pumpkin. 
I had my tassel done, I just looped it through a piece of jute. Again, I taped the end of this jute and I'm just gonna string some unfinished Hobby Lobby wood beads on it. I got these during the summer when Hobby Lobby was having their like amazing clearance sale and I just repurposed the beads. And then once I had it to the length I wanted, I just knotted it and then I attached that galvanized pumpkin. This is how it turned out. Like I said, if you want to see a more detailed way to paint this, I will link that down below. But I just love that you're able to achieve such a nice decorative piece using Dollar Tree items and fabric and things you probably have in your craft stash anyway. So for the last garland, this is a super simple pumpkin garland. You're going to take another one of those pumpkins. This time I'm going to leave it unfinished. I'm going to do a basic tassel like I showed before, just wrapping around that orange jute cutting it and then kind of cinching it for, to be my tassel. I had the tassel the way I want it. I'm just gonna loop a piece of the orange jute through the top and then string those Hobby Lobby beads unfinished through the jute. Now this jute is much sturdier than the Dollar Tree one so I did not have to use the tape trick but you could do that still if you want if you have a hard time stringing the beads. And then I just tied the pumpkin and I added a W monogram to it from the Dollar Tree. And this is how it turned out. Super simple, took like two minutes. And I just love the way that wood bead garlands look in decor. I like the texture that they add with the tassel and the wood and whatever else you decide to have as your end point. And also they're great for tiered trays. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some inspiration for the season for your tiered trays. Um, I went more neutral, some pops of traditional color, and then I like the fun Halloween tiered tray that I came up with. I will link all of my tiered tray videos down below if you're interested to see how I made them. And I will also link my Etsy shop below if you're interested in any of the decals that I showed you. And as always, leave me a comment. I love talking to you guys, and I hope I gave you some inspiration from this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It lets me know what you guys like as well as helps my channel grow. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.